Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon, where I'll be talking about the movies, of course, TV shows, what have you. If it's related to Disney in any shape or form, I'll be talking about it. I mean, yeah, okay, technically, they didn't make the Disney company didn't make this character, but Montel did cover with them quite a few times in the past, and still do it to this very day. Uh, so the subject matter, again, is Jehovah's Witnesses. Ugh, these people again. Yes, I still believe that they're all caught. Uh, can't change my mind, that's a, that's a hell of a moon to die on. But, Barbie. Okay, this seems to be like an odd mixture, which it is. Especially considering the fact that the Jehovah's Witnesses really believe in the men being the part of the higher-ups. Yes, they're still stuck in the 1950s where housewives and all that jazz. Whereas with the Barbie dolls kind of broke out of that and have diverse type of characters and what what diverse dolls I should say, and I mean the animated movies and shows were diverse, but just kind of happened after the fact. Anyway, point being is that so I'm going to show you a, a little, like a little podcast sermon thing, what do you want to call it, that talks about these dolls, just dolls, and somehow it's all related to Barbie. Our dolls just more than toys. More than a doll, I should say. I mean, be asking, I guess. But what's the meaning behind this and whatnot? What's, what's going to happen, the effect on women and how different cultures would have some, like their own version of dolls and whatnot? I mean, it's all wrong. It's all completely and already wrong because they have no real sense of, of the world around them. They're, only, they're, very, they're very close just for themselves, really. Anyway, let's get into it. More than just toys. Egyptians made them out of flat pieces of wood, Japanese from folded paper, Germans with wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You literally just start this off, and you, you got that wrong. Nothing what you just said made any. Every culture in existence has a version of a doll. That is true. But not in the way this individual is doing. And yes, the Japanese have their own doll. Were you referring to the Amagami? Excuse me if I, if I butcher that. But that's not a doll, though. The Amagami is not a doll. You said before, what are you referring to? You mentioned paper? What? You know how absurdly stupid that sounds? What? Right? Yes, they have their dolls, they say do, but again, they have their own variants of dolls. I mean, there's so many of different dolls from different stuff. What are you talking about? Are you implying that they're stupid? If, if that's the case, I'm not saying he is, but it kind of rubs me the wrong way. That's, that's how it kind of comes off. It, it seems racist in that case. So, okay. I'm Okay, whatever and Eskimos from sealskin. Adults collect them. Children cherish them. What are they? Dolls. The World Book Encyclopedia states, Most doll-like figures from earlier periods were magical or religious objects, not toys. Ancient Egyptians painted patterned clothing onto small pieces of cattle wood. Again, no, 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 no. Again, no, no, again, no. It does not how that works. You're getting that wrong as well. You're getting all this wrong. Again. <sighs> anyway. Adorned them with strings of clay beads representing hair. They placed these paddle dolls in the tombs of their dead <laughs> in the belief that the dolls would act as servants in the afterlife. Vengeful people in the West Indies stuck pins into voodoo dolls in the hope of causing harm to their enemies. In many cultures, dolls were associated with fertility rites. For instance, in ancient Greece, shortly before girls were married, they left their dolls on an altar to Artemis, the goddess of fertility. Today, women from the Ashanti tribe in Ghana, Africa, carry a doll in their waistbands in the hope that it will help them bear beautiful children. 
Some girls in Syria hang dolls in their windows to advertise that they are of marriageable age. So, okay, you still got it wrong, all that, you still got all that wrong, but from what he's trying to say here, whoever this individual is from the Jehovah's Witnesses, he's claiming that, yeah, of course, I guess he was saying, he's trying to tie all this to Barbie, of course, he's trying to tie this entire thing with what Barbie's about, so his interpretation of Barbie, and he's trying to use the dolls from different cultures as a way to, I guess, put some support in his claim that whoever made Barbie Montel in this case is worshiping God I guess in this case a goddess a false goddess like you claiming that Barbie is a goddess is that what you're saying this is, so, this is so stupid there's nothing to back what you're saying up again I know he's trying to use the whole dolls from different cultures and the fact that Barbie doll made a lot of money as a, as a, as a way to back of his claim, but it still doesn't make any sense when you think about it, but okay. This is dumb. Third each year, dolls feature in a celebration held in Japan called Hina Matsuri, or the Doll Festival. This is also known as the Festival for Girls, which derives from several different customs, says Japan, an illustrated encyclopedia. One is a Chinese purificatory rite, Again, this individual is, just sounds completely and utterly intolerable. You, you, don't, you can't accept the fact that there's different cultures, which, of course, that's the thing with Jehovah's Witnesses. They don't want you to be a part of a different culture. They don't want you to be a part of any culture, just their own. Yes, they would completely rewrite your own personality because it goes against their teachings. So, in other, in other words, they want you to be a robot. Rewrite your entire personality. That's what they do. That's what a cot does when you think about it. Along a river early in the third lunar month. During the Heian period, 794 to 1185, courtiers called in diviners on the third day of the third month to exorcise their impurities, transferring them to paper images, which were thrown into the river or ocean. Dolls as toys. During the Edo period in... Writing stuff on the paper, and then what is this guy talking about? What? Now, of course, again, all of what you're saying is completely inaccurate. None of that, what you're just saying there, is making any sense. Again, I know he's trying to tie this to the Barbie, of course. Again, worship false gods. Don't worship false idols. I mean, yes, the Ten Commandments still applies to the Jehovah's Witnesses because they're technically just a different branch of Christianity when you think about it. Even though they claim all other religions is wrong. And 1603 to 1867, dolls made specially for children were modeled after real people and came with different costumes. Other types of dolls were made to move by the use of cables, springs, pulleys, and wooden gears. Yes, he's mentioning this fact, well, supposed fact as a way to back what he's claiming. Oh, see, they made different dolls in different ways in different countries. That is so weird. That is so strange. Again, he has all that completely inaccurate and in the way they were, his different country would make dolls. But again, he thinks it's, it's just as well worship as different gods. But okay. Again, that's not what's going on, but sure. I mean, granted, if you want me to be a bit more specific here, he's, he's trying to intentionally misrepresent the entire world, well, the outside world, I should say, to be weird. The outside world is strange. Everybody who isn't a Jehovah's Witness is bizarre. They're the weird people. We're not the weird people. They're the weird people. They're strange. They're unorthodox. How dare they act unconventionally? That kind of attitude. As, as an us versus them kind of mentality. And he's trying to use this as so-called proof. One model could even carry a cup of tea to a guest and return with the empty cup. In Western lands prior to the 1700s, childhood as we know it did not really exist, says one encyclopedia. Youngsters were regarded as little adults and were expected to act like them. Dolls were made for adults as much as for children. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What is, seriously, what does that even mean exactly? I'm confused here. I mean, okay, I was confused since the beginning, but... But okay, 
since when that was a thing? Since when young young kids were expected to behave like adults? Give me a specific situation. And that's the problem here, because this entire thing seems way too generalized when you think about it. And if you want me to be a, a bit more specific here, he's claiming that an adult, a, gr a fully grown individual, should not own these dollies. It, or any toys for that matter, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be in this specific dolls, but it's just any toy. But don't be telling me what to do. Don't be bossing me around. If I want to own a Barbie toy, damn straight I'm gonna. And this is capitalism, isn't it? If I want to buy a, if I want to have purchase this, I'm going to. During the 1800s, though, the importance of playtime in a child's development gained recognition. As a result, the doll making industry prospered in Europe. Austria was the biggest manufacturer of dolls at that time. As early as 1824. German doll makers invented a device that allowed their dolls to say Mama and Papa. Later during that century, they produced walking dolls. The American inventor Thomas Edison even manufactured a miniaturized record player that made some dolls appear to talk. Meanwhile, the French made a doll called Bebe Gourmand, which could eat food. The French were also noted for their fashionable dolls which were sold dressed in elaborate costumes. And yes, they made different dolls around the world, whether it's France, the Dutch, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Korean people, you name it. People from Scotland, yeah, people from India, yes, all these individuals on everyone else, the Middle East. Yes, they all made dolls in the way they, to their liking, yes, obviously. But he's already simplifying it. There's a lot of information he's intentionally leaving out. There's so much information he's leaving out here, folks. And he's doing that on purpose because it does not match what he views to be the correct way of life. And yes, obviously, this is, of course, intention. It's very manipulative, if you ask me, because he's intentionally misrepresenting the actual truth because it's not, it does not go in alignment what he wants to view the word. He view his word view to be the perfect one, apparently, because everything about it is wrong. I'm right, you're wrong. They kind of add to it and whatnot. But anyway, here we go. In the early 1900s, one of these dolls was sold at auction for $277,500. One of the largest collections, held at the Strong National Museum of Play in the city of Rochester, New York, USA, contains about 12,000 dolls. Returning to the article, Dolls as Teachers To teach their children about their tribal gods, the Pueblo Indians of the Southwest... Okay, I still don't see what the problem here is exactly, but go ahead and proceed. Western United States used kachina dolls carved from cactus roots or pine. During a special ceremony, a member of the tribe dressed and acted like one of the gods. Afterward, parents gave a doll fashioned like that god to their children so that as they played with it, they became familiar with the god. Dolls provide an outlet for a child's hurt feelings, anger, and other emotions, says the World Book Encyclopedia. Playing with dolls enables children to rehearse the roles they hope to perform after they grow up. One doll displayed during the Children's Day Festival held in Japan each May shows a young man dressed in the full armor of a traditional warrior. So you're telling me that, again, Montel had this secret agenda. Of course, Jehovah's Witnesses, that they wanted this doll to be worshipped as a goddess. Again, referring to what I was saying earlier, this is so ridiculous. What are you talking about here? The doll is used as a role model to encourage young boys to grow up to be, according to local culture, strong, respectable members of society. Because of the emotional bond formed between children and their dolls, wise parents will take seriously the influence dolls may have on their child. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Child's development. For example, some charge that the physical appearance and the endless wardrobe of certain dolls might have a harmful effect on girls. <laughs> Shut up. 
One critic claims that such dolls can corrupt young girls with shallow messages that promote style over substance. What? What are you talking about? What is obvious to anyone who has ever seen children play with a doll is that whether it is made of cloth, paper, wood, plastic, or some other material, it is more than just a toy. It is a friend. What in heaven's name are you talking about? A playmate, and even a confidant with whom they share their childhood. The following is supplementary information. Dolls, basis for parental concern. What the hell are you talking about? Do you think the clothing these dolls are wearing is the kind Christians should wear? No. Why not? Because the skirts are very short, the blouses are low-cut, and the material sticks to their bodies. Why are you talking? Every time you talk, you only prove why you shouldn't. Admittedly, teaching your children godly principles so that they reach such conclusions takes effort. But it is worth it. Many parents have benefited from the help provided by the book Learn from the Great Teacher, published by Jehovah's Witnesses to help parents inculcate godly principles in their children. You are invited to obtain a copy of this 256-page illustrated book by writing to Jehovah's Witnesses, 25 Columbia Heights, Brooklyn, New York, 11201-2483. Indicate that you would like to receive a copy of Learn from the Great Teacher. End of article. Well, that's where that ends, really, folks. But, okay, I found it really odd that you include kids or a child in last bit, which, yes, I do feel it's a form of manipulation, which I'll get to in a minute. Yes, Barbie's too sexy. She's too sexualized, apparently. Which, yes, it's a, con it's a uh, I guess, controversy I heard before. I'm not going to solely blame this on the Jehovah's Witnesses. I mean, though, they are stuck up, though. They are very stuck up on, about women wearing clothing. They're so obsessed with sex, yet they're anti-sex. How weird that is that? But her, I heard this controversy before this. If Jesus, I mean, Jehovah, is so against sex, then why is it so required to actually... What are my actual questions? But basically, too sexy, too sexy, too sexy, too sexy, too sexy. Oh, too attractive, too attractive, too, too sexy, too sexy, too sexy, too sexy. That's what I'm hearing. Too sexy. Again, I'm not going to just say this was Jehovah's Witnesses complaining. I mean, they are complaining about that. I'm not going to just solely blame on them because this is a complaint I've heard about Barbie before. But either way, it's stupid. I mean, yes, the Jehovah's Witnesses are very strict about sex. They are so against people having sex, yet they know that it's required to reproduce. Which is true. Yeah, we need... We need People need to reproduce some kind of way, that's true. But ultimately, it's not just about controlling. That's all this is about. It's just about controlling. Because, especially towards women, though. Oh, boy. Yeah, these are the same type of people that want to get freaky deaky in bed. The, the more strict you are, the more freaky you might be in bed. How weird is that, right? Anyway, but like I was saying, this just seems really manipulated in a lot of ways. Uh, they're going to act as if... This is the only way to to have a good family, to have a good way of life. And if you disagree, you'd be against this kind of a thing. So, again, going back to the whole thing with the child I was saying a moment ago. They wanted the child to be the last little bit because, like I said, it's manipulative. So, in other words, just to get it short, because this video is already lengthy as it is. As it is. So, in other words, if you disagree with... What I'm saying, I mean, when I say that, I'm going to say I'm, I mean, then the Jehovah's Witnesses. If you disagree with the Jehovah's Witnesses say, then you disagree with the child. How dare you disagree with the child? The child is so pure, so innocent. It's the outside world, I guess in this case Barbie, is corrupting the child. The Barbie is at fault here. Barbie is corrupting the kid. So, again, this is so bizarre. This is like, okay, something sexual on some kids. 
these are two sentences that should not belong in the same paragraph. It's weird. It is so bizarre. This is, okay, so, no, it just, it, it weirds me out. It really weirds me out. And I do find it kind of odd that you're the one to talk. When I say you're, I mean the, the people who made the, the Jehovah's Witnesses thing. Yeah, let's just say that they'll fill up to the brim with scandals abusing kids. So, I find it really ironic in a really stupid way. So, it's like you're the one to talk because the two witness rule in Jehovah's Witnesses. If you don't know what I mean, just look up yourself the two witness rule for the Jehovah's Witnesses involving kids. Look up yourself. Just look that up yourself. Because, case in point, is that we all know around the ages of maybe 11, 12, or 13, typically, and of course, I mean that in a general sense, obviously. Kids start to, you know, to let up, if you know what I mean here. And the parents might have to get the, the little girl, who isn't literary anymore, might have to get a bra and all that jazz, you know, for the peers and everything. Yeah, said individual might get a little too excited to help out. Yes, it's that weird. It is that bizarre to have that mindset and whatnot. Get a little too excited, are we? Yes, we are. Getting way too excited for that kind of a thing. Of course, I'm referring to what the Jehovah's Witnesses would be doing and whatnot. So, it's just odd. Of course, it's my way to criticize the Jehovah's Witnesses in a lot of ways, of course. But they're trying to twist it around that it's about Barbie. Because she's up to something bad, I guess. Huh, it sounds like projection. That's what this is. It's projection. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya. Oh yeah, later. I don't mind me. I'm just going to enjoy myself with this Barbie stuff. Thank you very much. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. See you, I guess. Whatever.